Y aquí estamos en la carrera de Code, para la hechicera se llama la carrera, so, uh, vamos a correr mañana los dos troques, el 7 y el 8, y a ver cómo los va, vamos a empezar primero, el Steven el segundo, y uh, a ver cómo los va, que ganar, gracias. Fidel Galindo, team owner and driver of Galindo Motorsports. With the Porter truck, we did a major overhaul, uh, put a Dugan's motor in it, Rancher Drive Train, uh, had James Lynn do all of the electronics, um, changed the shock package, now running a VFG 39 inch tire. Uh, and it's really made a big transformation from what it began as, as uh, a druggy. <laughs> Soy miembro más del equipo Galindo Motorsport. Estamos aquí en la carrera de Code, en la hechicera, en la rumorosa. Venimos a participar, a ver si nos toca suerte y nos llevamos a un lugar. Esperemos que el carro está sin probar, viene modificado, no se ha probado. Esperemos que no tengamos eh, problemas para tener una, una buena carrera. Gracias. Y cuidado con los espectadores, no se metan a la ruta porque es muy peligroso. Eviten accidentes.
went great. Went great. A uh, little problem with the with the left brake. Uh, it was pulling us, pulling us into the turns, but it was great. I, I definitely want to thank my brother for letting me do this. It's, uh, it is just awesome. It was a great race. Uh, we, we, we did the best we could, and, and we'll see how we did. We'll, when the times come out, hopefully we'll podium. Uh, not the next code race, but we are doing the Imperial Valley 250, and hopefully uh, we'll be able to do something there. It's just, it's obviously home turf. Uh, I used to race dirt bikes out there, and I'm really, really, really looking forward to getting, getting down there and getting on the desert again. Robert Carlos, uh, co-driver for uh, Fidel and Ben Galindo. Uh, this is my third race uh, racing with them, and today was awesome. Hopefully we got second, it looks like. Uh, Fidel did an awesome job starting it off, and then Ben, uh, He's really improving. He's really coming in strong, hitting the speeds of 100 on this race. So uh, pretty awesome, very exciting, and I can just hope that I, uh, I was able to help him out to kind of uh, increase his uh, his talent and his uh, confidence. So, awesome, good race. I mean, uh, we're just uh, feeling good about this race. Hopefully, we got maybe second or third. You know, uh, Stephen came in first in the beginning. But on the second heat, he didn't do so well. So um, now, you know, Ben came in and he did really good. I held it in there at the beginning and uh, Ben came over and um, he, he did good. So hopefully we got second or third. And uh, it's been hot out here. It's been, uh, we have problems with the bumper. You can see where we had to put duct tape on it. It was coming out, we had no air. So it, it's been tough, but it was, it was a lot of fun. We enjoyed it. We love Hakumei. Hakumei is a good place. Well, we're going to race at Bear Valley next time. So we'll be in the valley and we'll race both trucks again in the valley. And uh, hopefully we don't run out of gas. <laughs> so, should be good. All right. Yeah. Cool. Should be Bear Valley would be, what, another 240 miles. So yeah. that'll be fun. So, this yeah. truck right now, we put in a new engine, new transmission. New body, which uh, uh, is not much there anymore, but anyway, uh, we're going to have fun with it and enjoy the power that we have with it. This sure. thing has some good power and it's, it's going to give us a chance to be competitive. All so right. we're, we're happy.